I've got my neck turned upside down here by the box. Got it set just about where the box is going to go, and I'm going to use a bit of brass plate here on the bottom of my neck that will extend into the box, and I'll be able to solder a wire onto that. My wires, or my strings for the guitar, will go through ferrules on both sides of this. Uh, they'll come up from the top of the guitar neck and come through into the bottom and that'll provide grounding to each of the strings and I'll be able to solder a wire onto this and connect it to the piezo pickup and the volume knob and should give good grounding without any feedback Shaping the end of the brass here so it matches the curve at the end of the tailstock. My tin snips are not in real great shape and they're not wanting to do a real good job of this. I have to resort to another pair. Just going to use a little brass actually a fretting hammer to flatten my outside edges out here where my tin snips bent it up a little bit Okay, using my template, I laid out the tail stock. I drilled my holes with about 7 16 spacing is what I'm doing on strings. I've attached my brass plate to the back side of this and very carefully used the template to drill through. It's a 3 32nd hole and I'll be using these little 3 32nd rivets on both sides of the board or the tail when I get it all done. But that gives me my whole layout and I've got to do a little sanding on that to clean that up It poke through just a little bit. Should be good to go. So a while back, I decided I wanted to do some engraving. I built myself a hand piece, followed somebody's video on YouTube. Sorry, I don't remember your name. Thank you for the plans, it was perfect worked out great um, and it works beautifully. I also built an air machine which controls the air. It pushes and pulls air through this handpiece to allow for engraving. I've got a video on that up here if I can figure out how to put it there. And you're welcome to go back and look at that. I decided that I wanted to engrave the brass grounding plate that I'm going to put on the bottom of the tailpiece. So just made myself up a little bit of a lazy Susan here. I don't have a ball vise, which would be perfect for this, but I'm super, or I didn't super glue, I carpet taped the piece down to this little piece of aluminum and I had some scrap aluminum that I threw together on the lathe and a little bearing and made myself a lazy Susan like that. So I'm going to hand draw here uh, some designs, which I'm no artist. This is kind of difficult for me to do. Uh, so 
bear with me. By the way, I've had this eraser forever, probably not since 1954, but a long time. If you can find these erasers, this is a great eraser. This would be the perfect eraser for woodworking, just about everything. Works good. And no, Magic Rub is not a sponsor. You could be. Well, all right, let's try some of that, see how it works out. What's the worst that could happen? Well, it's not the best, but that's my first one ever, so definitely has some flaws. Maybe I'll get better with time. We'll see. <laughs> 